welcome back to the Spartan News Network for the week of Monday the 28th of October. I hope that everyone is enjoying the day off. On behalf of the teachers and staff, thank you to all the students who were here yesterday to help with our open home event. It was a great success. On Wednesday, there are going to be yearbook photos taken for the senior showcase section. Thank you teachers in advance for your cooperation. On Friday, we start with winter uniforms and we will be having an All Saints Day Mass. This week, our Service Pillar Spotlight focuses on a service for the elderly called Get Smartphones. This service helps senior citizens learn simple tasks on smartphones and tablets like sending texts and pictures. This week, our Immaculata volunteers will be returning to the Center Bridge 2 Senior Housing in Bridgewater on Tuesday the 29th right after school. No prior experience is needed. If you simply have a smartphone, you can help out. Sign up on the service wall today and feel like a genius. This week on Trending, in the famous words of Kylie Jenner, rise and shine, Spartans. Wake up, Halloween's only a few days away. If you have any suggestions for future segments, send me an email. Thank you. Since our girls' sports are in the playoffs, stay tuned for new updates on our next episode. Now over to Ryan and Brendan for boys' sports. Boys' soccer has had a tough last three games against Belvedere, Boundbrook, and South Hunterdon. Stay tuned for the next episode where we hopefully report them on a win streak. The boys' cross-crunchy team has found some success this past week. Senior TJ Harkins placed first in the meet, while James Patak placed fourth. The team also won their division. Congratulations to the boys. That's all the boys sports for this week. Make sure to tune in weekly for updates on everything Spartan sports. Hey everyone, this is the quote of the week. Chocolate comes from cocoa, which is a tree, which makes it a plant. Therefore, chocolate is salad. Get your greens in. Riley Sue here with your weekly weather forecast. As we head into the week of Halloween, expect some spooky weather with highs in the low 60s and lows in the high 30s. The evenings will chill you to the bone. Bundle up underneath your trick-or-treating costumes and be sure to bring your flashlights. Hey fellow artists, this week we would like to remind you again about our clubs and activities. Please consider joining the Creative Action in Video Club, Photo Club, Art Club, and the Spartan News Network. All are welcome and no prior experience is needed. Follow us on Instagram and see all of our latest creations. This week's Halloween fact is about full moons. Although full moons are associated with Halloween, a Halloween full moon is quite rare. The most recent Halloween full moons were in 1955, 1974, and 2001. A full moon is also expected on October 31st, 2020. Three more days until Halloween! This week, the marching band will be rehearsing on Tuesday from 4.30 to 8.30 and Thursday from 5 to 8.30. On Wednesday, there will be folk group after school from 2.45 to 4 in preparation for a mass on Friday. If you're interested in joining folk group, please email Mr. Gasco. All are welcome. On Friday, the marching band will be at the game against Somerville. This week, we are featuring junior Sean Castellano's cats, Cuddles and Nico. Nico and Cuddles are adorable and playful cats who were adopted when they were three months old. They are part of a special breed called Bombay. Bombays are known for their sleek black coats of fur, large glowing eyes, and very social personality. Nico loves exploring the outdoors and playing with string, while Cuddles is content cuddling with anyone in the family. Nico and Cuddles would like to wish everyone a happy Halloween. Hey everyone! This week of October 28th is National Chocolate Week. Chocolate was originally created in 1847, credited to Joseph Fry. So if you are a chocolate lover, this week is definitely the best excuse to eat a lot of chocolate. Thank you once again for watching this week's news update. Enjoy the day off today. For more updates, you can follow the Digital Arts Instagram. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I wish you all the best for the next week ahead. See you next time.